Good morning, everybody. This is Kevin, the Home Inspector, back with you. Today we're going to do a HVAC system uh, inspection, or what I do as part of the home inspection for the HVAC. All right, here's our unit. Checking on the outside, we see that this is a a York. Looking at the inside here, inside it looks fairly clean. There's not much debris or anything inside. Uh, over here is the reversing valve. Get better. There we go. Three parts coming off the top and one out of the bottom. The presser is not rusted. So we're looking pretty good there on the inside. Check around the outside here. It looks like it's level. Some of these fins here you can see are a little damaged, uh, a little bent over, but that's not too unusual. And the major part, the main part is that the uh, there's probably no damage to the uh, the coil on the inside of that. Here's the line. The insulation is in good shape. Now we're looking at the tag here. So the serial number will give us the age for the York. It's this W1A166 whatever. Uh, the 1-1 one, one is the year. The A is the month. The rest of this is the Serial not or uh, the rest of the serial number is when it was built or the sequence number. In the model here, we're looking at the 36 tells us that this is a three ton unit. We have 410 refrigerant and that a max fuse of 30 amps. We're also looking at that there's an outside disconnect. This is the drain for the condensate. So that's the outside inspection. When we get inside the house, we'll look at that part too. All right, we're inside here looking at the inside unit. Here's the heater. Uh, I turned the emergency heat on on the thermostat, and so that is looking good. came on right away, seen it pump times where it takes a time or two to show uh, to turn on, especially in the beginning of the season. Okay, now we're looking at the air conditioning unit part of this. Uh, there's our manufacture date up there. It looks like that's 2010. The same process as outside. We have a secondary shutoff here. Here's our primary loop and goes out. Uh, now I do feel some air coming from here. Yeah, there's a big gap. Some other things to note about this, we have a copper line going over from the black iron pipe, which is a little unusual. Usually there's a uh, more like this. Oh, and the uh, vent going up chimney looks good. All right, one last check here in the electric panel. We see that there's a 40 amp circuit for the outdoor unit. Don't always trust that the things are labeled correctly, but uh, everything else appears to be what it should be. So believe that that's the the correct one. So that will have to be put on the list of things to be corrected. Uh, the oversized unit could, or the oversized circuit could allow more, electri more electricity, more current, and therefore cause a fire hazard. This is the final step of the HVAC. Checking the air conditioner. Here's a return vent. 
The temperature is 78 degrees. Coming to this, coming to this supply vent. 57 degrees is a 19 21. degree differential. So we're looking for somewhere between 15 and 20 degrees. This is in good working order.